here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let me see. All right, we're just about ready. All right, give me an audio check. Check it. What are you, what are you doing, man? Ah, you know, behind the scenes footage. Yeah. Gotta have it. Okay. Well, we're shooting in front of the scenes footage now, so let's let's get rolling so we get this over with. All right, sounds good, man. Let's All do right. it. It's gonna happen. Well, I don't have any of those answers. All I know is that the only answer I have is to make, uh, you know, uh, statements about it, and you know, and draw attention to it. And that's the only thing I know how to do. And right. you know, God knows, you know. Well, you know, maybe we, we'll make that movie. Maybe that'll be more interesting than this little neighborhood thing, whatever that is, man. Right. This is your old neighborhood. Yep. So here we are on the. Uh, corner of Hutchins and Zarzamora on the south side of San Antonio in the neighborhood that I grew up in. And uh, right. you know, my house is maybe another block or so down that way. Um, but uh, this is like, I think what I would call like the threshold of my little world. You know, this was like, you know, the, the outside, this was the, uh, if I ever crossed over this street, it was like me going off into the, you know, into the no man's land. Which I did, you know, to go to that little convenience store, this little Rios meat market over here. Yeah. Um, we used to ride our bikes, me and the neighborhood kids. Uh, used to ride our bikes all the way down here, and we'd be brave and cross the street and go over there and get, uh, you know, sodas and Chinese candies and, you know, shit like that. Rios number four, what? Rios number four sells Chinese candies? Yeah, it's not, they don't just sell meat. What's, what's a Chinese candy? Well, it's a little, uh, a little dried plum with a shitload of sugar on it or something. Or not sugar, salt. It was salt. salt. Salt on candy? Yeah. That does not sound good, man. Ah, we loved them, man. It's, it's probably awful. I haven't had that in, you know, decades. It was probably very exotic for you when you were a kid because you had oh. to cross the street <laughs> to get it. Yeah, it was like it was like going over to India and, and getting exotic Chinese spices. Chinese candy. <laughs> Let's go to India and get Chinese, great Chinese candy, candy at, in at the Mexican meat market. Yeah, that sounds that yeah. sounds very exotic. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and yeah, and we're. So what are, are these places right here? Were these here when you were a kid? These are some. Uh, yeah, these the, the apartments are the exact same, from what I remember. Really? Wow. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the paint job's a little different, but it, it still it just looks the same. Right. You know. So what's going on with this neighbor? I mean, this this isn't being gentrified, is it? No, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I honestly don't even know what that means. I mean, I know I know it means richer people are moving into poorer neighborhoods and kind of fixing them up. But well, there's a Starbucks down there. That that's does, true. That, yeah. I mean, that. What the hell does that even mean? There's probably Starbucks that's, in the middle of deserts and in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Starbucks is the first step toward gentrification. We all know this. <laughs> and. Actually, there is some big news is that I think the South Side finally has its first bookstore. That was some, you know, it was a big thing. Its first what? Bookstore? Bookstore. Or like like half-priced books or Barnes uh, & Noble? I forgot what it's called. It's, a, it's an independent bookstore. Oh. But, uh, I mean, for years, decades, I, I don't know how long. I don't, I don't know. But there was never any bookstores on the South Side of San Antonio. Really? Yeah, and even in the heyday of bookstores, when you had Barnes and Noble and yeah. and and uh, Borders, and then you had the, the, the stuff in the mall, the Walden Books, and this, the South Side had nothing. Wow. You know, libraries, of course, but you know, but but I think we just got a you know they had their first real like bookstore here. That's okay. A big deal. Yeah, you know what? Those little uh, little bridges over this little like yeah. ditch or whatever. Those are. Those look pretty cool. Like you could jump bikes over. Yeah, or that's what we used to do. We used to ride our bikes all the way through here. I'm sure, the neighbors loved that. Um, and so over here, you'll probably see is the school. This is uh, ah Viking Pride. This is Hutchins Elementary. Is this I think where it's you called. went to school, man? Uh, no, I didn't go to school here. Viking Pride. I went to Catholic school. Catholic school. How was that? Oh, what do you think, man? It's brutal. I don't know, man. I grew up Baptist, and that was pretty brutal. I didn't have to go to a special school, but we had to go to church an awful lot. So uh, when I was in Catholic school, this was like in middle school. Um, I got, I had a, I took to school this deaf leopard tape. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, and uh, devil music. And the the principal, this this nun, confiscated it. Nice. And I had to go into her office and and talk to her about it and uh and she made me feel like i was going to hell yeah. 
But it was good. It's a, it was it was the one with pour some sugar on me. It's pretty okay, good so Def Leppard not, tape. Yeah. Pyromania is that the it's hysteria? Hysteria. Pyromania was pretty good too, man. So, uh, but yeah, you know, um, Viking pride. Yeah. We uh, we used to find ways to get in here, and we'd bring our bikes oh, wow, in here. Oh wow, they got like barbed wire over the fence. Was that there when you were a kid? Yeah, and we really? used to be able to hop barbed wire. I can't imagine doing that now, <laughs> but you know, when you when you really want to do something, you'll do it. You'll find a way. Yeah. That's actually not too bad. I mean, I think that. Yeah, I don't like no, no, you're, you're right. Water, it yeah. is kind of bad. I don't know how we used to do uh, that. This banana did not make it. Huh. Are there any holes or something? No? Well, we would find no. a hole in a fence or something, you know, like, uh, a see how this, or this gate, you know, they'd be yeah. like a gate, it'd be all like chained up. Right. And once in a while, the chain would be so loose that we could just, you know, do this sort of thing and, you know, get right. our bikes in there. Of course, this looks yeah. like it's permanently on it. Yeah. So, um, so this is all very interesting, I'm saying, to be polite, but uh, you dragged me out of here. Well, on you know, a we're going to see uh, we're going to see my old house. It's That's what I've been just, looking forward to. Yeah, so um, look, why don't you just sh okay. just check out the house that's over here. It's coming up. It's the yellow house with the burglar bars on it. The this is my childhood house. home. All right, cool, man. Oh my god, so many great memories here. All right, hold on. Let me uh, take a static shot of it. Uh, all right, and let me just get one shot before we go in. Go, well, well, we're not going in. What, what do you mean we're not going in? Well, I don't know who lives there, man. Look, you got me down here because we're visiting your childhood at home. You said we're going to go in. We're going to look at the walls where the I didn't say any of that. I said we were going to go to the my little, From hobbit height to taller. Well, I, I didn't said say any of that. Why are we here? <laughs> well, we're here to see the neighborhood. I mean, this is the neighborhood video, right? I mean, it's the neighborhood video, but nothing's changed. Is that the documentary? Is that nothing's changed in my old neighborhood? Well, I mean, it's just, I, I want to tell a very human story and, and, and just being in the neighborhood and, and highlighting all the stuff in the neighborhood, um, it, it, it means something. It means yeah. something to you. It doesn't mean anything to me or I'll bet anybody else who's watching this, if okay. you don't mind my saying, but and you probably do. Well, you know. I mean, um, you said you want to tell a human story, but the second part of that is story. So what's the story? Well, this Isn't is Isn't there something story. interesting that happened to you when you were a kid? At least one interesting story. Well, I mean, I... I, what? I can tell the story. I can tell there was... Okay. I can tell... This, I got a story for you. All right. So, walk. you know, I was saying Tell your that... story walking. <laughs> buy house. <laughs> yeah, buy house that we'll never oh, get into. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, so, anyway. So, whenever I told you about these neighborhood kids that, that moved in when I was about five or six years old. Right. So, there was a little girl that lived next door before that. And she was my age. She was my one childhood friend when I was about, you know, I guess... From what I'm guessing, between like three and five years old, something like that. Right. And she was the only little girl in the neighborhood. So she was your girlfriend. She was a girl, and she was my friend. Uh, yeah, so, your I mean, five-year-old so. girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, she died. She died. She like, died. Really suddenly and tragically. Like I, I don't remember accident? like what the um, you know situation was. Hey, look! I wonder if that's how I got my bike oh, in. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's... We can go in there right wow. now? Well, Mystery I don't, solved. I don't want to go in there right now. Okay, so the but, girl died. But, yeah, so, um... Yeah, and, um... She died very suddenly and tragically. Her parents were, were devastated. They sold the house and moved out. And, you know, soon the other neighbors came and moved in. But, um, yeah, that's that's a good story, man. I had a childhood friend that no. died as well. You know, it's yeah, it can be traumatic, I guess, but not that interesting. It happens to a lot of people. What else you got? Well, it, what I'm telling you is she came back. So like, she didn't die. No, she died, but I and would see her. She didn't come her. back. I would see her after her parents moved. She was out. a ghost. Uh, apparently, maybe, I guess, I don't know. I wouldn't. Yes, she was a ghost. But look. You know, we when she was alive, we used to see each other. Um, she'd be on the lawn. We'd play on the lawn together. You know, we'd walk down the sidewalk. Uh, you know, we used to ride big wheels, so we'd ride our big wheels. Yeah. And, you know, 
her, she died, her parents left, they moved away, new neighbors came in, new friends. But every once in a while, I would see her. I would see her in the same yellow dress on the lawn. I would see her on the sidewalk with her big wheel. Did you like talk to her, play with her? Well, I wouldn't like say that, but I mean, she would come in, I would look at her, she would say hi sometimes, but then she'd be gone. So... I mean, you know, as I got older, I mean, yeah. I, I started to like really notice how abnormal this was. When I was five years old or however old I was, I didn't really think about it too much. It was just, it was just my old friend coming to visit and, right. and hanging out and, and she would appear and then disappear, whatever. But I noticed that I was getting taller and my vocabulary and my knowledge of things were, were developing and, and growing and pretty soon I hit puberty. And she was always this five-year-old little girl in this little yellow dress. Well, how, often, on how long did this go on? This went on all the way from when you're five to when you're 12? Until you I left. left. Yeah, until I left. And so you know, what, I, I always what, think about her. What are we doing back here? What, you know, if you can't get her on camera, I don't think we still have much of a story <laughs> no, here. No, I, okay, well, you know, I, I, I was... I mean, that's kind of an interesting honestly, story. Truthfully, honestly, I kind of, in the back of my mind, I was thinking maybe if I showed up here that she would appear, but, you know, I mean, how, why would that happen in this? Like, yeah, not with the Tre Trevino curse in place. <laughs> that would never happen. We would never get good video for a documentary. But, uh... I don't know, man. I guess you're right. We don't really have much. I mean, I hope that this, um, I hope there's somebody in the world that would find this somewhat interesting. I think it's a very human story. Okay, well, I, I think it's human. Again, short on story, but let's, let's sit down, man. I gotta, I gotta rest for a second All right. here. <sighs> you know, it's, uh, It's cool. I like helping you out on these things. You know that. But... Man, I think people. <laughs> you think people are really going to relate to this? I think people. I think if you speak passionately and you paint a passionate picture about real life, there will be somebody that will appreciate it. Yeah. And this is this is real life. This is this is this is real San Antonio here. I mean, it is, but still something has to happen, man. I mean, if you lived here, I could see, you know, like the 20 families or whatever that actually lived on the street might get a kick out of seeing it, but I don't know, man. I, one thing I do know is I'm running on fumes here. I need to get a cup of coffee or something. All right. Well, I'm just going to kind of hang out here for a little bit. All right. Well, do me a favor, man. While I'm gone, I guess I can get something down at the gas station down there. Um, try and think of something interesting to say so that we haven't wasted our entire time out here today. All right. Can you do that for me? Sure. I know you can. <laughs> All right. Fucking moron. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Saturday. I could be home watching baseball or something. <sighs> All right.
Dude, are you are you okay? You're you look a little hysterical. Dude, she was here. Who was who was here? She, her, the little girl. And you missed it. The dead girl. She was here. She was here. Right here. You were sitting there and she She stood right over there. She smiled at me, I smiled back. She gave me a hug. Then she walked off and she was gone. Coincidentally, while I was gone and the camera was gone, she showed up. Yeah. You're an asshole. Okay. Let's let's go get a drink or something, man. <laughs> Come on. Let's get out of here. It's been a hard day. She was here. She was here.